Double click Sand Motion Motor Setup. Click Add Axis, then Connect. Once drive is connected click Close. On the left hand tabs. Click where it says Parameter. Here you can either transmit parameters to file or transmit to amplifier. Click Parameter Transmission, to file. Then Transmission. Under file name type in parameter 1, and save file to desired location then click save. The file will be saved as a AP1 file and can be uploaded to another RS3 drive. Now that we have generated AP1 file we can upload to any other RS3 drive. Click parameter transmission to amplifier. Then transmission. Select the AP1 file. Then click open. Wait until the file is completely uploaded. Once the uploading is complete. You will need to power cycle the drive. In this step we will change parameters of the drive for when you do not have an AP1 file. Click the parameter tab, then each group. All the parameters are being loaded. Click motor parameter. Select from the list. Then select the motor you are using. Then click OK. You will need the motor code, this motor code is 0183. Go back to system, under combined motor code. Input the value of your motor. Here you can also change encoder resolution, encoder type and encoder function selection. Now select group 9. Here you can set your positive over travel function, and negative over travel function setting. In group 9 you can set your input and output configuration if needed. If you made any changes click right in amplifier and power cycle the drive. In this step we will show you how to clear a serial encoder if necessary. Click the test operation tab. Then click serial encoder clear. Then click OK. The software will indicate when the encoder has been cleared. Click OK. After that power cycle the drive. In this step we will show how to view alarm history, also how to reset alarms when they are displayed on amplifier. Click Diagnose tab then Alarm History. Here you can see current alarms of the drive, as well as alarms that were on the drive previously. Here you can reset the alarms currently on the drive. Click Alarm Reset, then click OK. The software will indicate when the alarm have been reset. In this step we will show how to change auto tuning parameter. Click parameter tab, then each group. On the left hand side click group 0. Double click on present setting value. Change from manual tuning to auto tuning function. Click OK. Now under auto tuning response, change input value to 10. Then click OK. Then click on Write to Amplifier to save changes. In this step we will execute the JOG operation. On the left hand tabs click Test Operation. Then JOG Operation. Click OK. In this screen you can input Velocity, Acceleration Deceleration. Click Edit and input desired values.
after inputting values click decision. Now you can turn the servo on, and jog in the positive direction or negative direction. You can see that the present position monitor will indicate the pulse count of your encoder. You can change how the motor is stopped. So when testing motor it will continue running until you press the stop button in red. As you can see the motor continues running in the positive direction until we press stop. We can do the same in the negative direction.